the hills of Kenya is the region of Kamburu. Like much of Kenya, the farms here are small and many, and tea, the cash crop, dominates the landscape. But as the climate's changed, so the crops have depleted. On top of fluctuating market prices, this has left the community very vulnerable. The farmers here were encouraged to grow tea for foreign export over 50 years ago. And so, indigenous crops and farming methods were replaced as households began growing less food of their own. Now, the community finds itself firmly positioned at the bottom of an unreliable global market and absolutely reliant on the cash they make from tea. <laughs> Food security has become a perennial problem for the people here. And as the drought continues, the scale of the problem is worsening. Gathuru Mburu was born in this area. And in 2007, with his organization ICE, the Institute of Culture and Ecology, he initiated a series of local discussions with the aim of stimulating a radical change led by the community. After finishing my education, I went to work in Nairobi, but I have been coming uh, to visit my parents, to visit friends, to visit uh, relatives. But the same problems that I've been seeing are the very same problems that I'm seeing every other time that I come to visit. The market forces that control the pricing of tea are outside the control of the community. And they have many other household bills that they have to meet. The bills for food, for, for medical care, and even for education. So the returns are actually too little. They cannot afford to uh, meet all these needs. And this situation is actually putting the farmers in a very awkward position. A lot of what we have been doing is discussing these issues and getting the solutions and the local solutions. The knowledge is within the community. The farmlands are within the community. The seeds are within the community. Even the labor is within the community. So they only needed to change their attitudes to understand they can, that they can do it themselves. We agreed that the most viable option in their hands was to take control of their food security. And when they took it over, they just ran away with it. Kago and Rosemary's family are very typical of Kamburu. For years they've struggled to make ends meet, but since working with ice, their farm has been transformed. 
Where once they grew just tea and a little maize, their farm is now full of vegetables and fruits. Kuma, tuwa banere liya na ASE, tuwa domire, na irigure nere ore akwa, marigoma ane mo makwa ma bere, a irigure re, de na mo akwa mo ena meri tano, a na mo do kire gihada, na le ukwa jamai tiari ni nya bere iri akwa ma hudira na ni marade idia to na mo turari eri, o na marigoma re mo de hadi to gutire irigure akwa gura. Nekuruta begu ogu kuguitu. Begu eno nea nea agu kutene nea duire na diguri ite dumerutete ogu kuguitu na iri gore ya duire. Jibaga marimwa na kamutu mia wako na mua noshi wako wa makade hera dhumu kuma kwa ngombe bagaira marigu maya kwa kaga hada na family yako wa ege kira borea. Nati tima kugura, tithumu wa kugura, nithumu wa kwa wangobe kumagu kumuguda, wadu hile. Itumiki ya hada marigumaye oguo, mugudo wa kwa ni muinamu. Nuguo, lele ya hada ita marigu oguo. Bure giura, ni mekuli gereria, teligo ikorokio, ni mai. Na nekio muku wana hada ita marigumamu dhe boshio. Nga hada narairi, nodi ige hada limu haa, hali lele ige haa uguo, niko dhukia muguda. The process was actually very simple. It was the basic agricultural strategies that have been in this community for many years. Simple strategies. We realized that indigenous seeds actually are good because they are drought resistant. Crop rotation and deep digging are strategies that improve the quality of the soil. Compost manure also improves the quality of the soil. Now, after a very short uh, period of time, all these strategies were taken up by the farmers and they were being used effectively. Na nitu hetu wa miti, na nitu hadete miti. Ugu wetu wa marigu hadete moiki. Ni na idonyi nge hadete. Ni hadete miti. Ni hadete mireo. Ni na waruguku. Boga. Sukumawiki. Taigwa. Meanga. Makorofia. Aruto huko, huko mguda, dina kedu tabudha, nyanishi ya marenge, na marenge pia, diyo na shio. Todo shia na shio shia kwa shia liguku, na shia li nyingi. Ugu obesha shio nenda hudhagira. Na huko uma tuwa, kuma ICE, tuwa nyitana, di hudhagira abesha. Todo hudhagira, ili okuma mguda. Ugu odena faida kuma kwa ICE. Kago's family are one of many in the area who've benefited from their work with ICE. They're part of a growing group of nearly 100 households who've been working over the last two years to secure their own food. For all of the group, the changes have been remarkable. Mereo, Marege, Ikwa. Turo hii doisio nisi ya duwari ya kuru wa duwari ya matari magego. Lori unitu menye ete hii doisio nisi ya muhimu dhinu wa muri ito. Nita do itiri na ina effect. And they are strong. Eee. 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 Lake juge hede aizu mwaki ya koko. Netuwa na athare gai waki nyira koko guito. Eee. Lea duwa pata. Nemo epina damu neyo no. Eee. A human being. You know whom he is. Naisi neomasho kiri kiri wito wa pororii na tuweka wa kuhegi yao au guetai yuto kire ice magito hegi ya because I'm so very pleased they mo do mukenu mo nani yodo ice ne kiole wana ne yopo duare ra it is very clear that there are changes that have taken place in this community families has have become food secure. And the method is spreading from household to household as farmers realize that this strategy is actually very effective and simple. There's no reason why this process cannot be done elsewhere in Kenya and thereby across Africa. <laughs>
In this country, we have never before seen such a huge number of climate refugees. So the actions actually are urgent. We need to move fast and address the problems. And this process that we have been talking about is one example of actions that can be taken to change this whole scenario.